She strokes the dead child's hair. My love, my soul, my dearest grandchild, she cries. At a hospital in Rafa, the awful consequences of two Israeli airstrikes. No words can bring any comfort to Ahmed. His wife and daughter were amongst the victims. He cradles the body of five-year-old Ala. I don't want to say anything to the world or to anyone because this is an unjust world. It's deprived of all human values and morals. It only understands the language of power. Rafa, on Gaza's southernmost edge, is where so many fled seeking safety. Around half the entire population lives here, and despite international opposition, Israel is threatening to launch a major operation on the city. Necessary, it says, in the fight against Hamas. Further violence, too, in the occupied West Bank today. A huge Israeli raid on the Nur Shams refugee camp continues. Bulldozers destroying swathes of the area. Israel says 10 militants have been killed, others detained. Palestinians say the dead include a 16-year-old schoolboy. Close to the city of Nablus, Israeli settlers attacked Palestinian villages. An ambulance driver, who then arrived at the scene, was shot dead, according to local officials. We went to help the injured people, says this paramedic, and the settlers shot the ambulance. Behind him, grief and panic. Elsewhere in the region, a blast overnight at an Iraqi military base, host to fighters backed by Iran. It follows an Israeli strike on an airbase near the Iranian city of Isfahan yesterday. Tensions between the two countries had ramped up with an Israeli attack on Damascus earlier this month. Then a massive Iranian missile barrage last week. They now look to be de-escalating. If Israel retaliates and comes up with a new adventurism, then we will respond. But if not, then we are done. We are concluded. But in Gaza, the suffering continues. On average, a child here has been killed or injured every 10 minutes since the conflict began.